Hello dudes and dudettes, welcome back to all the mods 8 hardcore guys. Today we desperately need to get some prosperity shards automated. I'll show you how we do that. All right, so a lot of these recipes that we're starting to make, especially uh, some higher up like the growth accelerators from last episode, uh, which believe it or not, I don't know if you guys can understand this, but I haven't actually finished episode 25 and this is episode 26, but I need to do this in order to finish episode 25. It's a crazy, this is like inception, a video within a video or something like that. Anywho, we need to automate these prosperity shards and the best way I think we can do that is through bees, productive bees, which means we need to get a prosper bee. Uh, this species of bee can't breed amongst themselves. Uh, you get a crystalline bee, which is found in the nether. Um, yeah, nether quartz ore, you stab it with that and it attracts crystalline bees. Um, nest must be placed in the nether in the nether to attract bees. So that's what we're working on today. Um, crystalline bee, let's go ahead and do one of these. Do I happen to have, no, I don't have any quartz. So I need some silk touch. Oh. I'm sure I have a pickaxe here with silk touch on it. Efficiency, fortune. Fortune four, interesting. I might throw that on my pickaxe or on our tool. Um, okay, this technically has silk touch on it. I may end up snagging this. Oh. <clears throat> so let's go to the nether. Okay, got some nether quartz here. Should be able to mine it. Yep, and for some reason I got a bunch of netherrack. Five magnets on, how did that get away? Anywho, um, yeah, so we'll just mine a couple of these guys. And I got more netherrack, I don't want that. Anywho, now we have 14 nether quartz ore, fantastic. So we combine it with a sword. Now is it one sword per one of those it is holy cow okay. wait what was that iron sword oh silent gear that's cool okay so i don't think we need this many and i'm also going to bring a waystone this time so i can just we can just teleport back to the nether whenever we need Um, hmm. This guy seems to have a problem with me. Ouch. I think I'm lit up. Knowledge. The dude shot me and I got knowledge. Okay. Nether. Perfect. So now we can come back here anytime we want. I've been needing to do that for a while. Um, let's see. I guess, I guess we can do it down here kind of crazy being able to just mine out anything I want. Probably should have been mined that. Ooh, Lady Heath. Okay. Nest is empty. Oh, we need a honey treat. Okay. That is all right, I guess. Honey treat. Um, honey treat. Yes, we do. We have one. <laughs> okay. Hang on a second. We have the glass in a bottle. <clears throat> so if I do this, I should say there's a big cool down. That's what I'm talking about. Hang on a second. I didn't think that through. I need to grab a, we need to make a honeycomb. Is it weird that I've, it's been such a long time since I've done anything with bees that I feel a little rusty? Um, I know we need to make a beehive. Advanced oak beehive. Oh, beehive. Okay, so we can make this guy. Good, 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 good. We'll need that. <clears throat> um, wait, what does this guy need? Prosperity. 
uses. Okay, so we're gonna need to make, we're gonna need to find some of these. And I've only got one, well, we have one block, I can do it. Well, I needed to convert to B. There's so many levels, guys. So many levels. Okay, so we have the advanced oak beehive and we have the prosperity block. So all we need is a crystalline B. I'm gonna get a sturdy casing here. We found these from just kind of looting around. If I go back, this should be almost ready. Pop, got him. Crystalline B. Cool, okay. So we got him. Let's go home again. I think I'm gonna have the bees in the walls over here, because we're not gonna use a whole lot of bees. I mean, we will need a Patrick B here soon, because that's for the all the modium stars. All right, let's see about turning this into a prosperity bee. Put, click. Yes. That is our prosperity bee. Good. Okay. So maybe we go back to the nether because the nether just has a lot of prosperity ore just hanging about. Um, nether, nether. Yeah, the nether should be here. Actually, the nether should be above the end. I think we'll be here a little bit more. Let's see, can we find some prosperity ore here real quick? So I mean I never have to go looking for this stuff again. Every time I've had to make a big project, I've had to go looking for this. What do we have here? Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Some prosperity ore, how much is that? 15, we need a little bit more and we got some right here. Wow, that gave us over a stack. Cool beans. We have fortune 10 on this or fortune five fortune five that's good okay so now we have enough to make this little area we're gonna make the old school one that i've always made the walls from the back they're gonna be sky stone and then we'll have some of the iron bar pillar things that i've been using we'll have these guys going up cool so um yeah, on this side here. So this is definitely gonna be here. <clears throat> All right, so we want a center one. So three and three, and three. Actually, we can make it look a little better if we do it like this. We can have these guys run up. I don't know how high I'm gonna make these. So we'll just do a little three by three action. I think we're gonna have this nine potential bees here. So we're gonna need to do that <clears throat> here. This will give us some space in between them. Maybe, I don't even know if we can fit another row here. We actually can. We can fit another row, but it goes right up against the bottom. Oh, we actually can. I just looked over there. Okay, so we'll just have two of these guys. Um, you know, I'm looking at it, maybe. Maybe we go for like a beam across the bottom and then we'll have, I promise, this is completely humane. The bees told me that they like this. That is four. Okay, so here we go. I feel like, it, well, maybe, maybe I get the, I kicked the cap off here. I don't know. I just want it to be as symmetrical as we can get it. Okay. Yeah, I think this looks pretty good here. We'll use ethereal glass on the front. Um, so we can go in and check on the bees whenever we need. Let's see here. We're going to have a three by three area. So one, two, three. All right. And this is where we put the prosperity blocks, just like so. <clears throat> we'll put a temporary block here and the advanced oak beehive goes on top. Perfect. All right, and now we just need the wand, like so. Cool, so this is gonna kinda look really good, honestly. Um, So yeah, like that. And then I have these little lights. Yep, 
that we can put down like this. And so they're gonna glow like that. I think they're gonna look really good, honestly. Um, and then the B just goes in here. So let's go get the ethereal glass. Should it be in one block? So should we expend, extend it out one more? No, because then you can't see it. Is there a way to turn these into panes? Only solid the players. Tinted, we don't need tinted. Nah, there's no way to turn these into planes, which is kind of a bummer, but this is okay. This will do. And then we access the beehive from the bottom. So that means that we can do this. And he's already in there. Awesome. Okay, so we got this one all good to go. Prosperity B is in here. We can put an expansion take on there pretty soon. I've also got these guys uh, and I went ahead and snagged the bees from our previous base. No, get out of the wall. Okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll just put them on top of the beehive. That was a little scary. Okay. Hopefully they'll utilize that and they're not trying to fight for the same flower the whole time. Okay, we'll put them here. Okay, I heard them go in. Good. Yes, and we put the expansion box on. We can have five bees in there total. Um, we only have one in here. So, yes. What is... Okay, yeah, we're going to be pulling out the bottom. Okay, that's looking good. I'm eventually going to move this guy up there, and we're going to have the normal bees down here. Uh, and then we can have different ones all around. But I want three total of these, or potentially we'll move him to another side. And then we'll just have all of this just be the normal um, bee stuff. So with the Ethereum glass, it's really nice that we can just kind of run in here and jump. It does look kind of crazy every once in a while, but it's not bad. And look at that, combs. We already got our prosperity combs. Very cool. And I think that we're gonna utilize the ground for all of the mystical agriculture things. And then we can utilize the sides for the bees. Um, I think that's gonna work really well. I think we're gonna have a couple of these set up um, if that's here, then we're gonna go one, two, three. We'll do a double. I want a processing, like essentially one of these on each side dedicated to processing the combs. Here, and it kind of lines up really nicely with with you guys. I, I didn't even like anticipate that it would line up that well. Yeah, so it'll be something like this. And then there's also upgrades we can put into those as well. Okay, so we're gonna need a couple of things. Let's grab, let's grab these combs, uses, centrifuge. So I want a powered centrifuge. That's the next thing we're gonna be crafting up. So after we process this up, we get prosperity shards and then we get wax. And then what do we do with the wax again? I think we can, obviously we can turn it into candles. We can use it as fuel. I think that's honestly a really good thing to do. We don't need the power, but we can just send it into something to burn. That's good. Okay. So all we need is a powered centrifuge. Very nice. And I don't believe it needs to be like anything special. Um, I need to grab. Sky stone. We can make this look fairly interesting. Um, get some frame. We don't need those. Wait, let's grab some of the metal iron plates back. Okay, so we're gonna work on this side here. Real oh, that. Okay, so this is how we're looking here. We can actually go ahead, and I think it'd be kind of cool, oops, if we were to extend these up a little bit and we could connect them all together. Let's see, let's just get these guys going. Cool. 
cool. So we'll run these over. So these are gonna meet here. I think it'd be cool to just have like like black concrete be between here to kind of look like, or maybe we could have something really cool. I don't know, like something green, neon. Kind of look interesting. Okay, so this is what we got here. I think it actually looks pretty cool. It looks a little off because this guy isn't complete. So let's do that here real fast. Gotta have a little bit of building in the episodes, huh? Not all just cool tech. <laughs> anyway, okay. So we have these guys semi-completed. I am really liking the look. Um, yeah, I think black concrete just in between here <clears throat> and then running through the middle. I think we might do Skystone or we could do something else. Not too sure, we'll, we'll find a way. We're definitely gonna put a, a seal or a roof here, but it's gonna kind of taper up in. So, but I really like how this is feeling so far. But yeah, um, I think on these sides, this one here, we can do something maybe like this. And for now, we can put this here. The powered centrifuge can go here. And we're going to use like the back. Hmm. My intention was to go something like this. And then obviously we'll be here. Okay, so, frick. Well, if we can't hide the cables, let's display them. Um, maybe we utilize, actually, I wanna utilize some slow versions of these. So we can actually see them go in. I just think it'll look cooler if they're not super fast going. Because we don't need these to be like extremely quick for now. We just need the prosperity shards to kind of build up over time. Um, and then I guess we can do, you know, flux point. The flux point will be on the back for power. All right, remember, if you can't hide them, display them like art pieces. <laughs> that is the rule of Minecraft, right? So this goes here, this goes here. We go like this and we can do that. Flux point. There we go. So now this guy's got power and then we could even seal that guy in. And then from here, it should look pretty good. Okay. You need a little bit more of this. Yeah, I like how that looks. And then, so the insert will be here. And yeah, this will be fine. So we'll have a B here, O, B, have. And then these will all join up here. We'll run like a pipe down there. Cool. All right, do I have my mechanism? I do have my mechanism. Thingamabob or doohickey. Push. Pull. Okay, so every once in a while, those are gonna be running through. There they are, they're coming in. I like the speed at which they're coming in here. What we might actually be able to do, is I just thought of this. We can leave those 
um, alloy. We can leave those slow. Check this out. I am going to, uh, we'll say here. And if you just take an alloy, you can upgrade all of these pipes. And we'll throw them in. So yeah, we're at blue here. And then we can just connect the green one back. Um, actually, I think, okay. We're gonna make this one a blue cable. And so what that means is they will be pretty quick going all the way over here, but they're gonna slow down so we can see them. So that should be them coming through. Okay, so he's in there. <clears throat> and then I don't think we have a solution for getting the B out of the B stuff out of there. We might just set it so these are for yeah, for, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I just really like the way that this is set up. I know we could put it on the back and then we'd have two sides, but I just like how this looks a lot and we're gonna do function over form. So what do you do when you process these in a centrifuge? We get honey and wax, okay. So <clears throat> these ones won't go to that. They'll just go to maybe a drawer or something. We need to let this guy kind of pop out. I wonder if we use the time in the bottle on this. Okay. So there they go, they're coming a lot faster and then they get to these and it slows down. I know it's not the most awesome thing in the world, but I really like that touch of just being able to see it a little bit longer. Um, let's see here. We're gonna convert these back. Okay. And then we'll put one here. Now this one doesn't need obviously any of the ethereal stuff. This is working. We have the the combs automated. Um, and then yeah, after this, I think all we need to do is just pump this into an ender chest. Let me make up one of those real quick. More of these guys. And the great thing about setting the system to be triple white for our input is that it looks really good. So this will look a little different not too bad. I like how that looks so much. That is cool. Very nice. Okay. Let's do a little bit of building. Um, let's see here. Let's get some black concrete. We got some black concrete powder here. And what's the fastest way to turn this into? You can wash it, that's not a bad idea. Injection chamber. I guess this will work. Fluid is scapulator. Two copper gears, one machine frame, and a fluid escapulator. Cool beans. So we have a flux point right here. So now we have power. We need to get it a sink so it has water. Do I have any extra sinks left over? I do not. Sink. Hmm. Terracotta. Cool, there we go. We have a sink. Fluid pipe, there we go. And let's just grab a 
the best of the best for this. Cool. So I'll put that here. Where depth? There we go. I was looking for the other one. Uh, configuration on the left. There we go. Perf. Where's my config? There it is. Configuration device. Boom. So that's full of water. Shebang. That should be working good. Nice. I don't really want to worry about creating the upgrades, so we're just going to do this. That might have been too much. Nope, not too much. Perfect. I don't have to worry about that anymore. All right, so let's go ahead and fill these guys in back here. And if I'm correct, in which I am, I just need, oh, no, I don't. I need, I well, I'll do it up top. For here, I do need to have, well, hit, hit space too many times. Come on, turtle. Okay, so we're gonna take this beam all the way over. This beam, oh, that was a little too far. All right. How much of this do we have left? We should have enough for it. Good. Shebang. Shebang. Very cool. Okay. So I like that. Kind of really dark. Um, hmm. I think we need a little bit more black concrete. Because I'm wondering here... We can make a lot more of that in no time. Okay. I don't know if I like it or not. And this is what I'm referring to. What if we just punch these out? So it kind of matched the... the th That's not bad. Okay. Well, it looks a little funky in the corners. <laughs> hmm. I think we keep these in, honestly. Gives it a little bit more structure, and I like it. Okay, so now we're gonna focus on, these are all gonna be the, the bees, right? Um, this one's gonna be another processing area, but the roof, um, I really wanna add some like life down there. So, Let's grab some shears and we'll go get some leaves from our other base. I've got an idea. Okay, so what I wanna go ahead and do is line up the outside of these with shroom lights. Now you're not gonna be able to see this side, thankfully. <laughs> so we line up. And I, we, there is a way to farm these with botany pots. So we'll probably set that up here. And that's another thing I'd like to do is set up some botany pot automation. Okay. And then now we're going to put in the oak leaves. Okay. And then we're going to cap all of these with some green concrete. I have no idea if this is gonna look, okay? Let's have a look here. That actually looks, I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but we definitely need some feral lights in here because it just feels orange. <laughs> uh, some feral lamps. So let's grab some of these. We can put these down below. So I'll go one, two on the third one in. One, two on the third one in. Um, I think that's lined up kind of like this. So we can continue that. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I think this is pretty cool looking. I think it feels really good. What does it look like without shaders, though? 
Dang, that actually looks really good without shaders. The shaders make it look really orange. I like how the, I actually really like how the ceiling looks. It feels a lot more natural. It's good. Okay, so we have those automated and we have 12 honeycombs in here. We don't want to process these guys. So we'll just do this and now I think we just throw an ender chest here. That's pulling out. Come on. Okay, those are both pulling out here. Our base feels so much different with shaders off. And just so we can kind of get us uh, the ball rolling on these guys, I'll just throw an ender chest here, and those go right into our system, and now we're good to go. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up the episode for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.